Hey guys, this is The Lazy Programmer, and I'm back again to tell you about my second course on deep learning in Python for data science. You guys already know why deep learning is useful. It beats many benchmarks set by other machine learning algorithms. It automatically learns features so you don't have to hand code them. And big companies like Google, Facebook, and Baidu are working to make these methods even more powerful every day. In my first course, we talked about the basics of neural networks, how to set up your cost function, derive the training algorithm using backpropagation, and how to write that code using Python and NumPy, and a little bit of TensorFlow, just enough to get you going with a plug-and-play script. But there were a lot of unanswered questions. How can you optimize and speed up your training using momentum and adaptive learning rates? How can you actually write code from the ground up using popular libraries like Theano and TensorFlow and really know what's going on? In this course, I'm going to answer all those questions. The theme of this course is practicality. The previous courses derived a lot of the algorithms and showed you the math so that when it comes to neural networks, you actually know what you're talking about. In this course, I'm going to show you how to get over all those speed bumps and obstacles you encounter when you're actually implementing deep learning. One of the biggest advantages of using libraries like Theano and TensorFlow is that we get to use the GPU, which leads to orders of magnitude increases in speed. In this course, I'm going to walk you through how to use deep learning on Amazon Web Services, from provisioning a GPU instance to choosing the right machine instance so that you have all the necessary libraries pre-installed to actually running the code and proving to you how much faster using a GPU can be. See you in class.